So plus Q of the CON for container. Okay? Plus, did anything else change temperature? Reaction. The reaction doesn't change temperature. So there was a reaction. You gotta remember, that's an important thing to remember. A reaction happened, a reaction will not, will, may have a Q term, but it will not have a change in temperature factor. So what does the reaction fall under? Yeah, it's going to be one of these. Okay, so there's only two possible change in temperatures. Now we're getting to a reaction. Yes, a reaction happened. That will have a Q, QRXN. Okay, so good. That's where it goes. Just make sure you know it's not a delta T factor. Is anything else, is there a phase change? Yes. Yeah, this whole, all the water boils. So it's plus Q, I'll just write boil. Okay. Okay. Any other phase changes? No, no other reactions. Is there a solution? This is a solution, but it's not a delta H of solution. Okay, that usually happens when you mix stuff. So, none of that. So there's all the Qs, four Q terms. So these two here are M, C, P, delta T type terms. These two here are N, delta H terms. Okay, you got to know the difference. That's why it's important to know that for the N, delta H. Okay, now where else are we going to go with this? Here for the Q of the container, here's what you want to look for. If the problem gives you the heat capacity of the container, you keep this term. If it does not give you the specific heat or heat capacity, you assume it's zero. Does that make sense? I'll say it again. If this problem gives you the heat capacity of the container, you keep this term. If it does not, you need to assume it's zero. All right. So, now. so we're just going to assume it's zero for now. If it gave you the term, you'd keep it in there. So you have zero equals M C P delta T. Um, CP, this would be the uh, specific heat of water. You'd look this up on the back of your test, unless your instructor wants you to memorize this. So there's CP. Delta T. What would delta T be equal to? What's the T initial? 25. What's T final? 100. Go warm it up to boil. Okay? All right. So there's that. What else do we got? Oh, the mass. I didn't give you the mass of the water, so it would depend. Either you'd be given the mass of the water or the volume of the water. What would you do if you had the volume of the water? <laughs> Multiply by the density. What's the density of water? One gram per mil. Okay? So uh, then uh, we have plus Q reaction, which is an N delta H term. So really, you're looking for, in this question, you're looking for this right there. You're looking for that delta H term. How do you get N? Once you have mass, just change the moles, knowing the molar mass of water. Okay, Q of boil. Delta H of what? What's the subscript here for boil? Vaporization, delta H of vaporization. That's a constant, should be given to you. Okay? So, this is uh, given, and again, N is moles, so you convert from mass to moles, and there you go, you solve for delta H. Pretty standard sort of problem. Any questions? Yeah? The last two N's are the same, yeah. It would not be the same if all the water didn't boil. So N here is the amount of water that boiled, I'm just assuming it all boils. Okay. Yeah? The first delta H The first delta H is what I want. So the question is, what about the first delta H? I want the heat of reaction, so that's what I'm solving for. It could be given, and then you're solving for something else. 